Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Taher and you are watching Tranquil Your Mind. In this video, let's learn about various types of overthinking. 10 Types of Overthinking to Look Out For Also known as Cognitive Distortions in Psychology Number 1. Mind Reading Mind reading is when we jump to conclusions by assuming we know what others are thinking. We may have an idea what someone might be thinking, but it can become an irrational thought when we tend to lean toward the negative interpretations instead of positive. Example, someone looks at you with an unpleasant facial expression and you right away assume they are thinking negatively about you. Number two, worrying about the future. This is also known as fortune telling. We may jump to conclusions by processing the worst case scenario and negative what ifs when we have no evidence to back our predictions. Example, you are going through hard time and tell yourself that life will never get easier or better for you. Number three, mental filtering. When we focus on the negative aspects of a situation while disqualifying all the positives. Example, you dwell on a single negative comment from your boss and ignore all the other positive feedback. Number four, emotional reasoning. Assuming that our negative emotions reflect the truth. It can be explained as, I feel it, therefore it must be true. Our feelings are a reflection of our thoughts. But as you can evaluate through this, our thoughts are not always true. Example, you feel angry, so you think you must have been treated unfairly. This may not always be the case, so it is important to evaluate the situation and our own triggers. Number five, ruminating about the past. Ruminating about the past to constantly repeat the memory of an event in the past that was upsetting or hurtful or embarrassing. Example, shaming and criticizing yourself for a mistake you made by replaying the scenario in your mind over and over. Number six, using should statements. When we focus on how things should be based on the unrealistic expectations we have for others or ourselves, sometimes we use these statements as an attempt to motivate ourselves, but ironically, most of the time, it leads to guilt and self-criticism. Example, you self-loathe because you should not have made a mistake during a presentation or interview. Number seven, overgeneralization. Drawing a faulty conclusion about something based on one experience. Dr. David Burns mentions this distortion plays a significant role in the pain we experience during rejection. Example, you get rejected by one person and conclude that you will never be able to find a partner. Number eight, labeling. Giving yourself a label because of a negative experience you had, this is as an extreme form of overgeneralization, and getting stuck in a negative thought loop. This usually leads to low self-worth. Example, I am unlovable, or I am stupid, or I am useless. Human beings are too complex to fit under a single label or category. Number nine, hopelessness. Fixating on a thought based on a circumstance to the point that you may start to truly believe it. Example, you worked hard on a project, but it was not well received by others, so you start to think that there is no point in putting in effort on any future projects. Number 10, all or nothing thinking. Only evaluating yourself or others in extreme black or white categories. Example, you answered one question wrong in an interview and consider your entire performance a failure discrediting everything else you may have excelled in during the interview. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a new video.